Miss Duke, did you hear the announcements about your headlights? Huh? Your headlights. Headlights? What's my headlights? Did she leave them on again? No, apparently. Your lights, Edna. We're rather nice to Ronnie. Now, where's my coffee cup? Retirement can come in moment too soon for the old poor. She's so befuddled outside her classroom, but when she's in the science lab, it's like she's young again. Face it, Ronnie, it's becoming a serious safety issue. It's not Edna's fault some boys built a pipe bomb in chemistry class. And whose fault is it? Society is... Miss Duke, that's the principal's mom. What? What? Don't mumble. Miss mm -hmm. Blair's. Miss... Miss Duke, strong smug. What for love of Christopher? You know, I realized this morning that Duke is spelled backwards. My main name was Jader, which is retard spelled backwards. I got teased a lot. <laughs> My fiance's last name is Legna, which is Angel spelled backwards. Aren't you the lucky one? The junior girls volleyball team is reminded to turn in your uniforms to Mr. Shorts sometime today. Junior girls volleyball, give your shorts to Mr. Shorts today, and I mean today. I told you to not put your hands in the toilets. I got over enthusiastic. Well, we'll put some soothing ointment on that wrist. Miss <coughs> Blair wants me with Bobby to grab some parents inappropriate touching. Oh, appropriate touching? Mm -hmm. oh, but I was offered. I 
I've got a wonderful idea for this new musical. I'm a bit busy right now, Angela. As you know, we're doing Grease. And I thought it'd be such fun if you and your food students could make the audience cookies that look like condom packages. Condom packages? You know how Rizzo has unprotected sex with Kennedy? Well, I think it'd be so symbolic if the audience was eating cookie condoms. I'm not sure I'm comfortable with that, so uh, I thought Grease was a nice, clean musical suitable for a high school, Miss Flake. I don't think the administration will allow cookies that look like condom packages, Miss Flake. Oh, please. It's art, for God's sake. And art is about the truth. And the truth is, is that human beings are always thinking about sex. Huh? Yes, I really do love sex. Don't be such a prude, Miss Digit. We must celebrate life while we can. Teachers, they're always so flaky. She sure can dance though. There's no way I'm making 500 condom cookies. That's so ridiculous. Trust the drama department to come up with the worst possible taste. Miss Rumor, if you're out there, this is your last chance to get to the meeting. I mean it. My goodness, he's furious. <laughs> Cynthia Flake and Scylla Bunbury. She just left Mr. Wolfman. Her actors are supposed to be working with my senior band on the Grease numbers. She's flaking out as usual. She probably got the dates mixed up again. We're all waiting and there's no sign of her actors. Oh, what a beautiful Why, yeah, she was dancing down the hall like a wisp of gossamer in a spring breeze. Whatever the matter, Mr. Bachman, you're looking as pale as a polar bear. You're supposed to rehearse with Miss Flake's actors. I have my senior band waiting in the theater, Miss Brightwell, but the actors haven't shown up yet. How sad. The orchestra waiting there like a jilted bride at a June wedding. Poor oh, Mr. Bachman, perhaps you're in love with Miss Flake. I'm in no mood for teasing, Miss Roywell. <laughs> Just serious chap. No wonder you teach music. You need beautiful melodies to lift your sagging spirits. Unfortunately, I don't think my band students are up for the task. <coughs> Stop by the food room, Mr. Bachman. I'll give you a piece of cake to cheer you up. Susie, wait up. I need to talk to you about the goodies for this back social. Mrs. Bucket, there's been an accident in the girls' washroom. Mrs. Bucket, report to the girls' washroom with a mop and a pail. Grease is the way, is the way we are feeling. Grease is the way we are feeling. Mrs. Blake, where are your actors? Oh, we're all actors, Turner. All great big actors on the great big stage of life. Grease like they go, grease like they so, we are alone at last, Turner. We're not, I'd rather you call me Mr. Bachman, Miss Spelling. And we're not alone. Mr. Newton's right over there. Huh? Don't be so formal, Turner. You may call me Penny. And you may call me Belinda. I ought to file a harassment complaint against you two. Harassment? We're just teasing, Turner. Penny and I get rather restless in these hollow halls. Doesn't teach you English keep you entertained? The students share nothing but drivel. It's quite depressing. We search endlessly for romance and adventure in the writing, but all we find are run-on sentences and incorrect noun and pronoun references. Not to mention <laughs> dangling modifiers and split infinitives. There is perhaps one student in a thousand who can write well. What about those splendid <coughs> guest articles that the students write for the local newspaper? Their teachers do extreme makeovers over those articles before they are submitted for publication. <laughs> We are awash in cheating and misrepresentation, Mr. Bachman. The age of the internet has facilitated the endless appropriation of recycling work done by a few clever people. It's the age of creative cop-outs and constant copying, Mr. Bachman. 
truly original work is as rare as a blooming flower in a winter snowdrift. How is the pressing? Never mind, never mind. Please join the book. There they are. I ought to see if Miss Flake has turned up in the theater. Oh, this story for an old woman like yours. Sorry, Edna, you'll have to be satisfied with the memories of Pex from long ago. Come along, Belinda. We must search for inspiration on this dismal oh, day. There will be a brief but important meeting in the staff room. A brief but important meeting for all staff in the staff room. Right away, please. Damn staff meeting. Now I won't have to straight out shower before <laughs> 8 o'clock. What are we doing with running laps, Terry? I hate like hell to teach you how I stink. What are we doing with running laps, Terry? I know, Clay. You said it once already. They're still running laps. Okay, okay. They're running laps. Good for them. Morning, Miss Who. Huh? I'm pumped. Really pumped. Pumped? I got a date with a drama teacher. Miss Blake? Yeah. Oh yeah, she's hot. Oh yeah, hot. I got a wife. Too bad for you. I do not think teachers should say hot like that. I am a teacher. But I'm a single man. And Stella Flake's a single woman. So it is okay, Clay. Nothing wrong with me dating this place. Like you, I am phys ed teacher, no? I do not speak of women when I work. You said it yourself. You're married. I'm not. So I can talk about women, <coughs> work or not. Damn staff meeting. Had to stop my social department meeting just as we were getting started. Late. How unfortunate, Mr. Ass. The social department used to be all men. Now there's a woman and nothing starts on time anymore. Hey, but you gotta admit. She's a pretty little thing. It's not right to talk to Miss Romer as if she were object, Teddy. And she contradicts me constantly. If I say the Soviet industrialization saved the Nazis, saved the Russians from the Nazis, she says Stalin was a butcher and the Russians would have been better off with Trotsky. I don't know what the hell you're talking about, big fellow. I am from Ukraine. Stalin killed millions in the Great Famine. And her boot swings. One day she's happy, and the next she's not. And she complains about my Polish sausage. Perhaps Miss Romer does not like the smell of garlic. Hell, such so a good old Canadian wiener if it keeps her happy. Maybe I should just transfer to another school. <laughs> Staff meeting right away, please. Staff meeting right now. The sprinklers and gym have gone off. Time to put on the hit waders. Get this. But it was too late to do anything about it when I did. You darn near wrecked the PA system hollering into it like that, Mr. Durant. The damn PA is too flimsy. If they made schools in a masculine way, things wouldn't break so easily. This school is for both sexes, Mr. Durant, whether you like it or not. It's true. Women and men make babies together. So why not make everything else together, too? <laughs> These secretaries keep things running like clockwork around here. We're a woman. Heck, even the principal's woman. Don't remind me. What's in those folders? That's for me to know when you find out, Ramsey boy. Gotta love a mystery. You still have 25 bucks for the sunshine fund, Mr. Shorts? I paid already. There's no record of payment. Everyone's gonna pay, Terry. It's for what cause, Terry. Everybody pays, Mr. Shorts. Everybody. Uh -oh. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Miss Digit, 
There's a package for you in the office on the counter. <sighs> Good, my class has an avocado just arrived. What do you mean? Avocados, Ronnie? <sighs> Two avocados, one avocado, two shorts. Ronnie, did you find it in your heart to do my tax calculations for me? The federal government is after my ass. If I have time and uh... Huh? Mm -hmm. This planner, you still need to fill out an accident report about the boy who broke his finger last week? It was just a finger. And the accident report is just a piece of paper, so do it! Ben, I know you're upset, but the endless forms and reports are essential to the smooth functioning of a modern high school. <coughs> Try to stay calm, Ben. Don't make a scene in front of your colleagues. Remember the breathing exercise that I taught you. <sighs> breathe. Must breathe. Good. Strong puffs. In and out. In and out. Cleaning your system. Get into a chair! Get into a chair! Miss Hol Homemaker, there's been a complaint from a parent. A girl brought home a muffin from your boots class. They're allowed to take their baking home hours. The girl's mother's a chemist. She did analysis and determined that 15 percent of the muffin was mouse dropping. Damn, I've tried so hard to keep it to 10 percent or less. <laughs> Again, Miss Romer. Do not speak to good women like that, Mr. He's not polite. You try to sort of confused feelings about Mr. Romer, Mr. Lance. My confused feelings? I do not have confused feelings. I'm a man for God's sakes. You're literally with trembling. <laughs> it's my allergies. My allergies. I gave up crying when I was four. Mr. Lance, no, we have our differences, but. Can we just get on with the damn meeting? Thank you. 